hey, I know why you're here. If it's one thing a woman must respect about you, it's this. What's good with y'all, man? You ever notice a chick will put herself first like that? Have no problems, right? No feelings of guilt, no feelings of remorse. I talk to guys all the time and they're over here like, if I put myself first, I start to feel bad. I don't know why I feel bad, bro. Women have tricked us into thinking that everything we must do has to be predicated on putting the woman first. For real though, that's why they think you must chase them. That's why women is getting mad when I say, hey bro, don't chase them. Hey bro, be selfish, put yourself first. They do the same thing, guys. They've been doing it longer than us. You go to putting the woman first, guess what happens? She don't respect your time. She thinks she can have you at any time she wants, right? At any time it's convenient for her, she don't even, guys, they don't even give a second thought as to your schedule and what you got to do. You feel me? I asked the female, I'm like, yo, how many, how many hours you work a week? Just, you know, gauging how they treat their time. Because me, guys, me, I'm working at least 70. I'm working at least 70 hours a week. All right, entrepreneurs, you got to put in work. You own a business, you got to put in work. If you're grinding and you locked in on your goals, you're trying to achieve certain things, you're trying to keep up a certain standard about yourself, a lot of us are working way more than 40 hours a week. You know what this chick told me? She told me, oh, I'll work about 30, sometimes 35. I'm like, a week? For real? Guys, women don't want to work. And they wonder why they be bored. That's because they time be wasted on bullshit. They don't do nothing at that time. So what they want to do is sit here, reach out to you and be like, occupy my time. Occupy my time. Take time from your day. I know you've been grinding, but my time is more important. My free time is more important. I can spend this time with you. Bro, you over here trying to get to the bag. That's opportunity calls, fellas. You know what I'm saying? You sit here. That's why you got to stay locked in. Because what they do is they offer you the guts. And they're like, oh, no, this is important to you, right? This is important. Spend your time with me. Come hop in these guts. Meanwhile, what that take? 20, 30 minutes? And then you be out, really? You could be out, really? But then they want to spend more time? That's opportunity cost. You could be getting to the bag at that time. All right, this is why you got to stay locked in, fellas. A woman's not going to respect your time if you put her first. That's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? If you mad about that, then, you know, you clicked on the wrong video, bro, because I'm going to tell you straight up. She don't give a damn about what you're doing, how hard you're working, and how you deem it's important. So who got to care about you? Who got to have your back? It's got to be you, bro. It's got to be you. She not going to sit here and really understand you, bro. Her feelings are not going to understand you. That's the point. Women are operating on a different playing field than us. They hear, oh, don't put a woman first. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, Ooh, you date a man then. Sassy man era. All that, all that other bullshit. They want to tell you that, bro. But that ain't even the case. I still love the guts. I still kill the pussy. It's not about that, bitch. It's not about that. Baby, what I'm sitting here telling you is the time I'm spending, grinding. I'm trying to accomplish a goal, a long-term goal. These women aren't focused on long-term goals, y'all. They're not worried about that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why they got to respect your time, guys. This is why women don't feel any kind of way about flaking on you when they feel like doing something. But when they want your time, you got to drop everything. We killing that narrative right now, guys. We killing that narrative. The one thing you must have, guys, is respect from a woman. But if you asking me, at the top of that priority list of respect has got to be your time. Because, guys, here's the deal. A woman's not even going to respect how you carry yourself as a man if you're not actually applying your time correctly. If you apply your time correctly to what you got to do, make sure you tell her, hey, I got time for this. Oh, I don't got time for that. I can make time for this. I can't make time for that. And if she's questioning why, why, why? Because my time is important. This is why sometimes you have to flake on her. You know what I'm saying, guys? We got to switch the narrative. It's got to be, see, because at the end of the day, who out here is really thinking long-term? You, you over here thinking about you in three years, five years, you got a game plan. You literally plan every day. A lot of these women out here don't plan every day. They just go on a feeling. They go on a, oh, 
I'm going to work today and then I don't know. We'll see what happens. Life has to be exciting. Like most of them is like that. Like for real though. I'm not even kidding, bro. Most of them is like that. It's not a, it's not a filtered lifestyle where they're sitting here locked in, focused on a goal. They just bullshit most of their time. If they can't respect the fact that you have to focus your time on a certain task, on a certain goal, then they're not going to respect you. They're going to think that, oh, I can have you at any time I want. See, that's why women that sit here and put you on a back burner for these other dudes out here. The only time you in competition with other guys is really when a woman don't respect your time. That's why you got to tell the chick, hey, this time, this place, that's when I'm available. You're letting her know about your availability. And if she thinks, oh, I can have you at any time, and she's like, oh, nah, but I can do this. And then you over here like, guess what? Guess how you need to respond? I can't do that. Because guys, if you plan your life out, you can't sacrifice that time for her. You got to stick to that. Bro, you got to stand on your square. Like, gee, shit, guys, stop sacrificing your valuable time just for some buns. This guy was in the comment section talking about some. If you're not chasing women, then what you doing? Like, you ain't got other shit to do. Most guys will sit here, let a woman put them on a back burner, be like, oh, no, nah, but I can do this time. She switches up the time that you suggested. So already there, you failed that test. Already there, you let her take control of the situation. Oh, but I can do this. And most likely, you know what it is? She got another guy already in that time. And you'd be like, oh, no, that's cool. Or you just come out and ask the question out the gate. When are you available? You need to let her know when you available, bro. You need to let her know that. So she knows that your time is valuable. It's definitely more valuable than hers. Right? Well, what I'm hearing from a lot of women, they got all this time to fantasize and romance and do all this thinking and contemplating and going through their feelings all damn day. Most of them ain't doing shit productive, but living in that delusional world where they think time is just an escape. You got to be locked in as a man, bro. You don't got time to be like that. They might have time for that because they can have a dude save their life. They could be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to just get married one day and then he'll take care of me for the rest of my life. We don't have that option. You know what I'm saying? Guys, you got to be locked in. I would hate for a chick to sit here and see you and you just done up, bro. You done glowed up. You done got your bag together, bro. Your pockets is sitting right. You well dressed. You know what I'm saying? You looking real dapper. You moving efficient. You got a fresh cut. You just unstoppable. And then this chick thinks that she can have you at any time. Ain't that crazy how you put in that work? Wouldn't that be crazy if a chick still thought she could have you at any time? Not understanding the hard work you put in. But then they over here, oh, I put in the work to, I spend the time doing makeup and I spend it. You spend the time putting on that big ass filter to fake. I spent the time putting in the work and effort, the grind to be real, to present my real self. And because of the facade that you put on, you might have all these options, but that don't mean they're the options that she wants. So guys, either way, you got to separate yourself by distinguishing, hey, my time's important to me. I'm available at this time. You can only have me at these times. Other guys, she'll be like, oh, no, nah, I can fit you in here. I can fit you in here. I can fit you in here. They like, oh, yeah, gladly. Oh, the, yes. Don't even worry about those type of chicks, bro. They're not even worthy of you, bro. You might as well just let them fall by the wayside. They will continue to get reduced, reused, and recycled. You got to reduce, reuse, and recycle that hoe. How the hell is she over here thinking that her time is more precious than yours when all she is doing, if she got all these guys on the back burner and all these options, you are literally presenting refurbished pussy to all these dudes and you expect a hardworking man like yourself to sacrifice his time, take that opportunity cost from that grind and making that money to be like, you know what? Yeah, let me put this pussy first. Hell no, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. She has to respect your time. She has to respect that when you're not with her, you grind it. So some chicks will sit here and get insecure and go to thinking, oh, I bet he's talking to another girl. I bet he gets some other guts. No, bitch. I'm grinding. I'm focused.
I don't give a damn that much about but see some people and it's crazy bro some people on these videos bro you look at the comment section some of these people be so mad that I'm telling you guys don't chase value yourself spend your time wisely how the hell are you supposed to become the man that you need to be to be a leader to be able to balance and juggle the crazy that is a woman the modern woman if you ain't on your own shit if you don't prioritize yourself if you're not selfish so they expect you to be like you know put me first spend all this time with me but then be a high value man that don't make no damn sense you got to value your time somewhere you got to draw the line somewhere bitch i can't spend time with you at this time i gotta spend time with you here oh i can't do that because but you don't do no you don't grind like that you don't you have a lot of free time you just bullshit it don't sacrifice that bro. i'm telling you back to the people that just you know want to stay in this loser mindset bro you must be mad if you ignore women why are you ignore women like ignoring women is just totally disrespecting them like slapping them in the face or something they be taking it to that extreme like i didn't call them out of their name or something you're ignoring women oh my god it's like bro you don't do nothing in your life more important than pussy better than that you know why i ignore women because i already got my nuts drained this morning, my nuts got drained. I woke up out of the guts, got back to the grind. I'm ignoring every other chick trying to throw me pussy the rest of that day. Why? Because my nuts is drained. My nuts are already drained. If your nuts got, like, like, just put it into that perspective. I know this ain't everybody's situation, but on the same end, you can't also assume everybody's in your position. Some guys out here already winning, and they just trying to focus on winning more. Some guys is already in the mindset where they got to shift it to winning, but they can't get over the fact that they got to chase women or get over less than women all day. But you can't you can't go anywhere in life if you over here less than women all day. She ain't finna respect your time. She gonna think you like every other guy if she over here bend over and then you be like, oh, bro, did you see that? Did you look at that? Like you ain't never had no ass. What's going on, bro? All you do is predicated on guts. Like, damn, bro, this is the first time you've seen some cheeks? How about you focus on you, bro? How about you get to the bag? Because I'm going to tell you what happens. Women start respecting you then. Now they throwing guts at you. Now you over here doing a scratch and sniff. These bitches over here, send me a dick pic. No bitch, send me a scratch and sniff. I need to make sure you ain't operating with some red lobster dumpster guts. I already know you got refurbished pussy out here trying to hand it out like it's a brand new car or some shit. No, bitch, it already been leased. You already leased that out to plenty of men, a plethora of men. Don't act like you over here with 100% fresh cooch. That's not what you got going on. The least you can do is have them respect your time so you deal with the least amount of bullshit. I'm telling you guys, you deal with a lot less headache. You don't do the chasing. You feel comfortable ignoring them because they ain't got nothing to offer you, most of them, besides some guts anyway. Besides some guts, bro. And I'd rather you get the quality of guts that you deserve. You respect your time, use that to get the bag. Now you're getting the quality you want. Now you get the quality you deserve. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations.